Um, we've got Ice and Rondell kind of be our lead speakers here. Ice, maybe we start with you with just an opening thoughts, anything that you want to say. Um, first off, I just want to say I appreciate everybody here and appreciate the university for letting us uh, play for the school and giving us this opportunity. And um, that we just here to work, you know, every single day that we go out there, we're going to play our best. You know, unfortunate events happen. You know, obviously that's why we all here answer whatever questions y'all have or not. And, you know, um, we just here to just pretty much tell y'all how we feel. We open all questions and we're just going to keep working. So we're going to see how it go. And Rondell, too, maybe before we open it up to questions, you know, just anything that you wanted to say? And uh, yours. I just like to say I appreciate our fan base and all well our coaching staff um, for preparing us uh, for this game and also our fans coming out and supporting us. You know, it's been a tough week. Um, it's going to be a long season, um, and it was a, a great start to a long season. So I thank the fans and thank our coaching staff for getting us prepared for this game. All right, thank you. Any questions? Ice, I think um, obviously it's a tough week if you mentioned that. What what was your reaction and how have you tried to maybe rally everyone together? Um, to be honest, whenever we got told the news, I was speechless for myself. Um, Coach B asked, asked me after, do you have anything to say? I, I didn't say anything because I didn't know what to say. I really didn't process the situation. But the night before, like, we really didn't talk too much. You know, we text, obviously. But the next morning, whenever we came into that practice, it was the same joy that we had, have, having fun, out there just working hard and playing. You know, um, that's just what it was. We didn't have to have a big speech about, hey, guys, we got to stay focused and locked in for the season. Everybody just came back the next day ready to work. You know, we can only control what we can control. Are the are the emotions, where do they range from? Do they range from anger and rage to sadness to, to what, or like, where, where are the emotions? It's everywhere, you know. Um, speaking for the team, I know it's a lot of anger amongst the team. It's a lot of anger, um, you know, because, you know, it feels like they're punishing guys that wasn't even here during the time that those events was happening. You know, and for it to be senior year for me, 1K, different guys like that, and then you have guys like Moose and Bryce Thompson that transfer here because they want to be a part of a team that can go win a national title, you know, if that was our ceiling. So for them to be stripped of that opportunity and for me and 1K to be stripped of that opportunity, you know, it, 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 it's sad. But like I said, all we can do is continue to work. Ice, you've been a part of kind of this process for a long time now. At any point during your career, did you think that this was going to break this way and how it happened? Um, never. You know, I've been through it all. You know, my freshman year from having just six scholarship players to sophomore year, COVID came, cut off. So, you know, it's just adversity has always been throughout my college career. So, you know, but whenever it comes to thinking how my senior year was going to end, I thought it would be ending in the tournament for sure. What was the message behind the long sleeve warm-ups? Oh, uh, Buntu. Um, that's just something we, you know, the took and ran with one of those things I am because we are, you know, so it's all basically just a team thing. Like, we're good because we're, our team is good and our team put us in a position to be successful with, uh, individually. So that's really what that is. Ice, has, it, has it been difficult for you to kind of focus? I mean, it seems like in your career, it's kind of one thing after another, like you mentioned, the low scholarship numbers and then, then you get sick and then you get, you know, you have a foot injury and then a hand injury and now this. I mean, does it, is it hard to stay focused? Um, me personally, uh, I don't feel like it's hard to stay focused only because, like, that's my life. You know, everybody goes through something, so I can't sit there and complain about it. I just got to figure out how I can better myself throughout the situation. You know, through every loss, there's a lesson. So I can't sit down and be bad for myself. You know, we have plenty of guys here that's been injured. You know, Don Williams came in his freshman year after an injury, different things like that. He's came back, and he's just grinded. So, you know, I can't complain about injury. Everybody goes through an injury. K KB right now, he's not playing right now. so. There's nothing pretty much I can complain about. Just keep working. We got to find a way through whatever the situation is. For either of you guys, what has the kind of response been like? There are you know, national media folks saying it's unfair. Even OU fans are, seem to be on you guys' side. What's kind of been like the reaction to the bad news, I guess? Um, I mean, I feel like everybody's immediate action, reaction is, I mean, it's not fair. Um, I feel like they're punishing people. Like I said, I mean, I was a sophomore, freshman. When it happened, we have guys, uh, Brooks, he was an eighth grader, you know. So it's one of those things where it's like, it's, it's it what it is, but at the same time, it's just like, we just gotta go day by day and get better. And um, our ceiling was the tournament, win a national championship, uh, Big 12 first. But I mean, now we just gotta change our ceiling and maximize our regular season schedule and be the best that we could be game in and game out. Rondell, you, you described those emotions. 
what what do you you mentioned the ceiling too? What do you, what do you guys rally around now? Is it just the regular season? Is it is there other goals too? What is, what do you rally around? Um, I just feel like we rally with each other. Um, uh, we all came in this year. Our goal was be Big Twelve champions and be NCAA, go there and let our fate turn out from there. But um, now our goal is just to be you know outright Big Twelve champions by record. I feel like at this point. Um, it is what it is, and we can't really think too much about it, but it's definitely a chip on our shoulders. Um, so that fuels, but at the same time, it's not something that we're just going to you know, be sad about for the rest of the year. I mean, it's not fair, it's not unjust, I mean, it's unjust but um, we got to take it and run with it. So at the end of the day, we got each other, and we're just going to grind it out together. Do you guys play angry now? Do you, do you guys kind of right. channel that? Sure. Right, it's definitely a big sure. chip on our shoulders. Sure. Yeah, sure. 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 Yeah. Definitely. Ice, does this kind of make every Big 12 game that more important now? Because it could be, you could go down to TCU and lose a game and it not really mean too much in the grand scheme of things. But if you guys do want to win the Big 12 tournament, each game's going to mean that much more. TCU. Or win the Big 12 regular season, it's going to mean that much more. Does that kind of make these games mean more as they go along? Yeah, um, it's definitely going to mean a lot more, you know, because normally what Coach B preaches to us is that we don't know when this is going to end. Because, you know, obviously, like I said, sophomore year, COVID cut us off. And then last year, we didn't know when it was going to end. Second round was our ending. But like this is the first time where we're playing and we actually know where our end date is. So it's like we might as well maximize our potential because still everybody on this team hates losing. You know, so what you going to do? You're going to not be able to play in the tournament and be a losing team. So it's like let's just go out there and win. And then I feel like we'll be remembered forever. You know, if a team that could, you know, if that's our ceiling winning a Big 12 championship, I mean, uh, yeah, regular season championship, and not making the tournament, not being in the tournament, I feel like stuff like that would be historically remembered, you know, forever for Oklahoma State. And that's what everybody here to do. Everybody came here to make history in some kind of way. Feel like every game of championship game, you know? Not for real. Were you guys at all surprised by the crowd tonight? Nah, 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 not at all. Yeah, we needed to be 13,611 people here. It's love for the people who came, but we need to Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, especially now how it is, like, forget whenever we play KU or whenever we play OU. Nah, we need 13,611 people here for all games, like, any game we can get here. Yeah, I think they got think those people that weren't here, though, they had the football, so. Yeah, yeah, I Tuesday, it got to be packed up, though. I feel that, though. How has Mike been through all this? I know he, he's talked a lot. And we've heard from him talk with the crowd and stuff. But with you guys, what has he been saying and, and doing to kind of help you guys through this? Um, I feel like. Coach Mike has always been transparent with us. I mean, from the moment he found out, we had a meeting at 9.30. So that was the last thing in our minds that had, like, we were going to talk about at 9.30 p.m. Um, so it's one of those things where he always likes to break any type of news to us, good or bad, first, um, before we hear from the media or anywhere else. But I just show, that just shows the type of character he has and how important, how important it is for him to let us know first. Um, that, just show, that just goes a long way for us. I mean, fans always joke about how they run through a big wall, but I know all 17 of us will definitely run through a big wall for Coach Mike. So. Um, I just feel like he's just a stand-up guy, and I mean, y'all see it, but we live it every day. Facts. Facts. Especially a guy like, especially a guy like Coach B that's on contract for the next couple of years or having long, going to make millions. For him to show that raw emotion at his, you know, interview, like he's gonna still be here. Nothing changes for him. Even he's not, if he's not eligible to go to a tournament this year, he's still gonna be the head coach next year. He's still gonna get paid the same. Nothing changes for him, you know. But he just cares for us so much. Like it's more than basketball for him. Individually, every team, every year, he cares about each individual kid. So it, it truly hurt him to the core that we could not go to the tournament. You know, so just having a guy like that behind you, there's no way we can mope about it and not try to go out there and win. I see you kind of mentioned your hardships earlier. After getting to the tournament last year and having a taste of it, does that make this kind of decision all the more difficult? Oh, most definitely. Um, you know, like, it's, you know, no running from it. You know, I didn't uh, put on my best performance last year in the tournament. So, you know, coming back this year, every time I was working out, like, that's all I was thinking about, just playing the tournament. But, I mean, that came to show me that you don't always get second chances. So that's the biggest frustration for me is that I took the first opportunity for, for granted. You know, that's the biggest thing that doesn't sit right with me personally. But, you know, right now it's not a personal thing. It's a team thing. These guys still need me to go out there and perform for them every night and just win as many games as we can. So, you know, I could put – 
my tight feelings to the side right now, just focus on this season, and that's all I can do. Any other questions?